And we're back on the Michael Antonio Show here on a Tuesday, January 25th. And that was today. Something I made a few years back. And that was dedicated to Smitty, Mr. Tim Smith, and his beautiful wife, Jackie. Enjoy your 8th anniversary. I hope you go take her out to dinner and have a nice dinner with her and maybe a movie. Let me know. What do you, what do you got planned? What do you got planned? Let me know. What's the plan, kids? I'm waiting. Tell me now. What is your plan? Oh, you know, Jackie, Jackie, um, you're welcome. Um, like I said, I wish you all the best. I want you guys to just, like I said, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Maybe I'll give you a little bit of, uh, I'll give you something else here. I'm going to give you a little song if I can remember this. This is a, this is a song that you might be familiar with. It's actually part of a Disney classic. It's a Disney classic. And uh, let me see here. Let's see if I can get this done correctly. This is the night. What a beautiful night. And they call it Bella Notte. Look at the skies. They have stars in their eyes. On this lovely Bella Notte. So take the hand of your love. You may need it about this time to keep from falling like a star when you make that dizzy climb for this is the night what a beautiful night and they call it Bella no Ah, uh, once again, congratulations. Eight wonderful years. Eight wonderful years of marriage. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, no, that was the... I'm sorry, that was the count. I'm not the count. So, okay, so you're going to have some dinner. That's great. Where are you going to go? Where are you taking her? Where are you taking her? Come on. Better be good. It better be make this good, Smitty. I'm telling you, man. You want it to be nine years? You better make it good. Oh, you're welcome, Jackie. All for you. All for you. <clears throat> so come on, what is it gonna be, Smitty? Let me know. Olive Garden? I hop? Better not be I hop. If you take her to I hop, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna slap you. All right. Delmonico's. Delmonico's. Now, do they have a Delmonico's in Rochester over there? Is that where they have it? Well, that's okay if it's the weekend. I understand you're not feeling well. That's you know, hey, that's great. Oh, so you're gonna go to the, there's one. In, I know there's one also. I believe in Syracuse, New York. So if the if the one in Rochester is closed, you can go to Syracuse. Take her to the Dinosaur Barbecue, maybe. She might like that. Oh, so Delmonico's is good food. Yeah, it's good. It's very good. So I want to give a shout-out again to Smitty and his uh, beautiful wife, Jacqueline. And I don't know if Daniel's around there, but a shout-out to Daniel as well. If he's not listening now, he can watch later and get the shout-out. Also, I want to give a shout-out to all my other friends... I have many friends out there in Webo land and in the world today. Shout out to Mr. Tim Hooper. I have a lot of Tim friends. I have a, I have a, you know, I have a, I have a plethora of Timothys as friends. Mr. Tim Smith, Mr. Tim Hooper, Mr. Timothy Woodruff, who is the husband of one of my singing partners, the lovely and talented Miss Donna Lee. I'm not sure if uh, Timothy is watching today or Donna. Donna's probably busy at work. Which is great. I mean, hey, you know, it's you, you can't all. Not everybody can see me every time on you know live on uh, video, but uh, 
I want to give a shout out to them. Oh, is it that bad? Now, is the dinosaur also in Rochester, Mr. Smitty? Or, or is the dinosaur just in... I know they have one in Syracuse. Of course, that's the birthplace of the dinosaur barbecue. They also have one in New York City. Now, do they have one in Rochester? Oh, they have... A, boy, Rochester copies... You know, they take everything from Syracuse. They really do. Oh, man. You know what? That's not fair. It's not fair, I say. But that's all right. Anyway, I'm watching this film here. I was watching this film, uh, Casino. You ever seen Casino? <clears throat> I love that show. I just, I don't know. I, there's something about it. It's the Italian in me. You know what I'm talking about over here? It's everybody talking. You got Joe Pesci over there, you know? What's the matter with you? That's the way he does it, you know? What's the matter with you? What are you going to do over here? I got to go over there. I told you not to do that. You know, he's just, he's really something, I'm going to tell you. Oh, I love, yeah, Casino is great. And it's a true story based on the truth. Obviously, it's not 100% true. There was, I don't think there was ever such a casino as the Tangiers, but it was, you know, it was based off of a true life casino and experience of, uh, you know, the main character. And this guy, I'm telling you, man, remember when he broke the guy's fingers for cheating in the casino? I mean, man... I think I'd rather get arrested. You know, I mean, that's just, oh my God, that's just horrible. But, you know, I'm sorry, I love the Italian flicks. I love them all. I love, you know, Casino, Goodfellas over here. Goodfellas. And what's the other one? Of course, the Godfather series, Mr. Al Pacino. Al Pacino! He's an absentee landlord! You know, that's the way he's just funny, you know? He's a funny guy. I love his, you know, Patel... He's funny. He's the funniest thing in the world. And then, of course, you have the ever-popular, uh, the one with Collagero. Uh, it was called A Bronx Tale. A Bronx Tale with, uh, who, what was his name there? Uh, yes, De Niro. Yes, Smitty. De Niro is brilliant. But you also had Chaz Palminteri. Chaz Palminteri does Sonny in A Bronx Tale. Have you ever seen that one? Let me tell you, if you haven't seen A Bronx Tale, you've got to go get it. It's an old movie. It's an old movie. And of course, you know, sadly, I heard that the main character, the, the guy that played Collagero, he is actually, I don't know if he's still in prison, but he actually went to prison for something. I don't know, I think he stole something or did something. I don't know what it was, but you know, boy, he fell on some hard times, huh? But you know, I, I'm sorry to hear that. But, uh, yes, De Niro is brilliant. De Niro <clears throat> is one of my favorite actors, you know? He's like, you know, you gonna do that? You know, I can't make his face. I'm not very good at that one. I'm very good at him. But I like, of course, Smitty knows that I like any movie that has Jack in it, you know? Jack. He was in, I saw one recently, uh, The Shining. The Shining is a classic film from Jack Nicholson. He's like, you didn't finish your breakfast. Oh, no, he said, oh, you should have finished your breakfast talking to his son, you know. He's just, you know, here's Johnny. He's really great. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. You know, you might not have seen, some of my younger viewers might not have seen some of these movies. Uh, you know, Shine, The Shining, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. He was in uh, a lot of classic films. He was in a film, now listen to this one, now you're going to freak out. If you haven't seen this, it's kind of a weird film. It's an older one. It's called Tommy. Tommy with the, with, uh, the lead singer to The Who. Roger Daltrey, he was the main character in Tommy. Believe it or not, Jack Nicholson played the doctor. He was like, a, I believe, a psychiatrist or something. He was in Tommy. Very strange film. Very strange film. But yet, Jack is definitely one of my favorites. <clears throat> you know, of course, I like uh, A Few Good Men, one of my favorites ever, because he's just so good, you know. Son... We live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Who's going to do it? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. I'm not going to go any further because, you know, that gets a little annoying after the first few sentences, you know. But, anyway, I hope, I hope that you enjoy those movies. And I want... <laughs> Don't call me son. Yes, exactly. Yes, Smitty, uh, Tom Cruise, don't call me son. Yeah. Oh my God, I was, I'm a lawyer and an officer in the United States Navy, and you're under arrest. But anyway, 
you tell me. I want you to tell me what you think is your greatest movie of all time. Let me know on chat. Send me a message. I don't care if this is not a live show. Now, right now, yes, we are live. It is a Tuesday afternoon on January 25th at 1.52 p.m. But if you're not live, I don't care. send me the message anyway. Tell me what your favorite movie is. Tell me what your worst movie is. Tell me if I'm off my rocker, which I probably am, but that's beside the point. Also, I want you to let me know, again, anything that you want to talk about. If you want me to come up with a subject for a later show, if you want to see me do something within reason, uh, live, on camera, because I've got, you know, this is, this is kind of a reality thing going on. And I am going to have special guests. I would love to have special guests come and make an appearance with me on the show. So uh, if you're somebody who wants to be a special guest, let me know. I will make you a special guest. Just get yourself here to my studio and you will be my special guest of honor. So, now what is this now? It used to be, Smitty is saying it used to be Die Hard, but Quentin dethroned Willis. Oh. You like Kill Bill that much, huh? I never got into Kill Bill. I don't know why. But, you know, so Smitty, I'll tell you what. Why don't you tell me, tell me why you think that Kill Bill is your favorite. You let me know. Tell me now. I must know the truth. I love it doesn't constitute a real answer. I love it doesn't really tell us you know why you love it you know I mean it's you know is it uh, you know is it the actress what's her name again is that uh, uh, what's her name again that actress that did, did that did kill Bill she's in like every one of Quentin's movies I think like a million of them I think I believe so you I love going back to the am I a clown do I amuse you I love hearing his voice little squeaky voice and of course he was great in uh he was great in uh my cousin Vinny. Remember that one? Are you telling me the entire grit eating world? You know, I mean it's just great. He is just I'm telling you. He's great. He's great. Oh, phenomenal story. Okay, so Kill Bill is a phenomenal story. Great fighting sequences. I gotta go see it again because I, I wasn't impressed, but that's me. Maybe you know what? I'm going to tell you what. Just for you, Smitty, I'm going to watch Kill Bill again. And I'm going to be I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be very very objective about it at first, and I'm going to watch it again. I promise you that. I promise you. So, anybody out there, go ahead and post my website with this show. Post it on your websites, on all of your social networking sites. Let everybody know i got a show going on. I, now, this show is broadcasting 24-7. There's always something on the loop. I have a lot of old shows on there. I have some videos, different sequences. I've got a lot of stuff going on. So what I want for you to do is I want you to go ahead and tell all your buddies, all your friends. Let them know. Let them know what's going on. All right? Because seriously, I... I uh, I really believe that uh, it's something that you want to do. You want to tell everybody about our show. And also, like I said, as you can see right below us here, we have some streaming, streaming information that is clickable. You can actually click on those links and go to those sites. It has news and information up to the minute, updated information, also links to my websites, and also to my album site. I have a site where you can actually go and, and get my albums. And they're very inexpensive and they make they make great gifts. They do. And they make great uh, you know conversation pieces. You can uh, you can even mock them. Send them to all your friends and say, Oh this guy sucks. How terrible. Look at this guy. I don't care. Just as long as everybody buys it, you know. Really you know, that's all that really counts, right? Also if you're on my main website, as I have said before, you can see my main website here, up over here in this corner you will see something that says get my music here. If you click that, if you click that, you can go right to my music site where you can actually get my albums. You can get my music. And again, it's not critically important, but 
I'm telling you, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. It has all different types of stuff, all different kinds of stuff for you. It isn't uh, simply, uh, you know, one style. There's different styles on there. So you're going to love it. And once again, if anybody wants to... So you're saying, okay, i got to go back to this. You're saying that Quentin Tarantino is a genius. Well, Quentin Tarantino has strokes of genius. Sometimes he just has strokes. So, you know, I mean, you know, it depends on the movie. I, I liked most of his movies. Some of them I just thought a little bit over the top. A little bit over the top. I <clears throat> Like, it was a Planet Terror... And the other, remember that double feature that he made, the Planet Terror, and the I forgot the other one. But um, you know, I I don't know. I wasn't super impressed with those. I just loved his series, his Dusk. Uh, not to well, Dusk Till Dawn was good, but what was the other series that he did, based off of El, El Mariachi? He took El Mariachi and turned it into uh, a classic set. Oh yeah, the other film was Death Proof. Yeah, by the way. Yeah, Death Proof and the other one, yeah. But but I'm talking about the Quentin Tarantino series, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, um, uh, the first one, uh, Desperado. Desperado. I'm telling you, man, classic films. I loved them all. They were all so brilliantly done. Fabulously done, I tell you. I loved them. I really did. So, yeah, I got to tell you, that was good stuff. That was definitely good stuff. Oh yeah, Robert Rodriguez. He did, um, but he did El Mariachi on like a seven or eight thousand dollar budget. I mean, it, it takes a lot. I mean, for, to make a movie on only a seven seven thousand or eight thousand dollars is incredible. Kind of reminds me of like the Blair Witch, but this El Mariachi was much better than the Blair Witch Project, as far as I'm concerned. You know, much better. So I didn't like the Blair Witch. I wasn't a big fan of the Blair Witch Project. So. No, I saw this feature on on Robert on Rodriguez, and I'm telling you, he he's he's got his own studio and stuff. He really does a great job, man. They really work hard. A lot of great films, <coughs> a lot of great films. So everybody out there, please tell me what you uh, tell me what you want me to do with this show. What do you want to see from me? You let me know. You get on here. Let me know. You talk to me through Facebook. Go to my Facebook site. I have, an, I have a link right down here. There's a link running across the stream there. Click on it. Go to my Facebook. Also, you can go to Facebook if you're looking for me. Look for Michael Antonio, but the actual site name is facebook.com slash Michael Antonio Live. L-I-V-E. Michael Antonio Live. That's my Facebook site. And But, you know, you can just easier just click down here. You can see the little... Uh, if you're live, you'll see them. If you're not live, I don't believe you can see them. So you're going to have to just go... Um, if you're on my website, my website has links to all of my social networking sites. So go, you know, play around with all my little buttons there on my website. My website, my Wix.com website, Wix.com slash Michael Antonio Live slash Michael Antonio. That's where you're going to find all my links to my sites. You can also, there's several links to my album uh, site, all kinds of things there. So we were just discussing movies right now, all of our favorite movies. And I think that we cannot we cannot discuss favorite movies without also discussing another one of my favorites. And before I tell you what it is, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some sounds here and, and you can tell me if you agree with me. I want you to go ahead and tell me if you know what this movie is, tell me. And also uh, go ahead and uh, tell me if you liked it, if you think it's also one of your favorites. And it's uh, one of the characters goes like this. Of course, of course, of course, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be bookless. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be bookless. Um, of course, twenty minutes to Wapner. Twenty minutes to Wapner. Hamburger Ray? Or how's this other? This is one of my favorite lines. <laughs> Am I using you, Ray? Am I using you? Yes. Shut up. He was answering a question from a half hour ago. I love that movie. What is that movie? Oh, come on, you, you, you know, you knew. Of course, Smitty knows my favorite movies. Um, yes, it is. It is Rain Man. I love that movie. I'm telling you. Let me tell you something right now. One of my buddies here in Vegas had never seen the movie. He saw it for the first time last week. I showed it to him. How can somebody not have seen that? The movie is like over 20 years old. It was made in the film. It was filmed in '87. Showed in '88. I mean, who in the world cannot like that movie? I mean, my God. That movie is like the greatest movie, one of the greatest movies ever. But he, 
he watched and he was like the first thing he said when he saw it when he saw you know uh, the the acting he was like oh my god Dustin Hoffman he said immediately Dustin Hoffman is brilliant is a genius because he pulled it off like you wouldn't believe I couldn't believe it either could not believe it so before I leave air I'm gonna be here a little bit longer 15 20 more minutes uh, I'm a busy man you know what can I say sorry about that <clears throat> but um, I did also want to mention I was talking yesterday about uh, getting some news and hoping for the best the news wasn't exactly the greatest I want to say that I'm not gonna say anything specific more about it it was it was disheartening to me I'm kind of upset about it not happy but um, God is good and I believe that things are gonna turn out okay just keep me and my family in your prayers if you're out there because I really uh, I need it right now my family needs it things are gonna be okay I truly believe that but it's 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 gonna be a hard time and uh, I, uh, I hope for the best and I believe for the best I believe the best is going to happen and uh, thank you so much thank you so much Smitty for your prayers and your concern um, again I can't talk about it specifically uh, right now maybe soon I will but right now I, I can't say anything more specific than what I've said and just just keep us in your prayers that's all I ask thank you thank you so much and uh, Wow, that's a downer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for doing that. I do apologize to you. So, you know, we're discussing movies. Now, also, I just, you know, I know some people uh, probably don't like certain artists, certain musical artists. I'm not a big fan of all of them, all of them either, but there are some that I really, really enjoy. I really enjoy uh, watching them perform. And, uh, Smitty agrees with me. There's one such band, uh, one that we used to follow for many years and listen to their old their old music. It was very good. And uh, Smitty's going to like this. He's going to love this. He's going to go crazy. The band is... Can you say it before I even say it? The band is... Say it before I say it. Come on. Say it. I know you know it. I know you know it. Say it. I want you... I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Come on. Smitty. I know you know it. I know. Rush. That is correct. I knew you were going to say that. I knew it. I just knew it. I knew it. Oh, my goodness. How can you... I mean, come on. How can you deny that some of the greatest drumming comes from what? Neil Peart? And, of course, uh, the guitarist, Alex Lifeson? My God, they're incredible. I mean, Neil Peart, how he is able to drum like he does, like changing up his beats, you know, midstream and, and go back to... I, I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. He's incredible. Someone else I want to talk about that's also a great percussionist is my nephew, my nephew Nick. I have some music I'm going to be putting up here on the show very soon that he's working on. He's a great percussionist and a great music mixer. He has some stuff, some really different kind of music he's working on. It's almost a new, whole new style. So you're going to love that. And that's coming very soon. So stay tuned because that's happening. You're going to love Oh yeah, Smitty Nick, I'm telling you Nick, go to his website. He has a Nick Nick has a Facebook site. And you know in fact what I'll do Smitty is I'm going to link him to your Facebook. How does that sound? Because he really, you can listen to some of his music. I'll do it right now even. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to link Mr. Smitty to his website because I'm telling you man I'm telling you it's some great stuff it's some wonderful stuff wonderful stuff so you're gonna love it um, of course Nick Nicholas Lamondola my nephew lives in Syracuse New York so if there's any uh, eligible young ladies he's a young man handsome young man, if there's any eligible young ladies there that are interested in meeting Mr. Nick, uh, don't hesitate to contact me. I will, in fact, I will, in fact, uh, introduce you, as it were. I will, I've done, hey, I've done it before, I'll do it again. I'll tell you right now. I've done it before, I will do it again. Okay? 
So Smitty, let me know if you get that link up with Nick. Let me know, and and uh, you'll see you will see his stuff, his material on the wall there. He's really, I think he's really good. It's it's a new type of music. He doesn't do vocals. That's why I told him I wanted to put some of my vocals on there, but that's okay. It's 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 instrumental, but it's just really, it's almost like it could be like a new style of club music even. It's really good, and it's coming on very 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 soon. I promise you. I promise you, it's going to be on soon. Actually, I could probably put it on right now if you want to hear it. You know what? I think I'll do that. What do you guys think? Do you want to hear it? Do you want to hear it? Because I can do it, man. I have the power. I have the power. I'm going to do it. Let me go back and get his site here, and I'm going to put it up in a few minutes here. You're going to hear him. You are going to hear him. He is wonderful. He's wonderful, I say. All right, let me see here if I can link this up to you. This is this is a song here that he has. It's called Fast Realized. Fast Realized by Nick Lamendola. And I'm going to put this up for you because I really think it's awesome. <clears throat> it's simply awesome. And here we go. Oh, here it is. I have it. It'll be up in a few moments. In a few moments. If I can put it into my... What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Very nice. Very, very nice. So, is everybody out there having a great Tuesday? I hope you are. Like I said, let me know if you want me to do something on the show. If you like the show, if you don't like the show, let me know. I'm sure that there will be some wise guys out there that will say they hate the stinking show, and that's all right. Hey, you know, not everybody can be smart like, like me, you know. <laughs> Just kidding. I kid. I kid because I care. I really do. I really care. And I'm trying to find his thing right now. Where in the world is his thing? I don't know. I think I'm going to have to find it. I'm going to have to find it. Yes, I am. Dun 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 dun. Why is it not coming up? You know, I'm still even learning my software, believe it or not. It's amazing. It is amazing. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. While we wait here, I'm going to be, uh, I'll be signing off in a little while here, but while we wait, let me put on a little show for you here, a little, little uh, video that I have made, and why we do that, while I get this all sorted out for you. Let me play, I'll play something else for the lovely couple that has been married eight years, Mr. Tim Smith and his lovely wife, Jackie. And I think what I'm going to make, I think I'm going to put Angel Eyes once again. You're going to love it. You love Angel Eyes, don't you? Here we go. This is Angel Eyes, originally done by the Jeff Healy Band, redone by myself. <laughs> 